Okay guys, so I'm just going to do a little demonstration of the, uh, the little small Tesla coil here. Uh, I did a video of it running up at Cambridge Teslafon, but the lights weren't out and we had issues with racing sparks down the secondary also. So uh, what we've done to sort of get rid of that is uh, to rise the secondary, so I've got a bit of clearance under here now, that helps a lot. And also I've uh, put another coat of xylene on the secondary here. So we have all the way from that end to this end now with Zion, whereas before it had like a 20 mil gap where it wasn't insulated and a 20 mil gap here, which obviously made that a little bit closer together. So I've widened that now, brought up so the coupling's just right now, and uh, changed the uh, the length of the crocodile clip wire, which I will eventually change out for a um, a, uh, a clamp of some sort. So yeah, we'll uh, do a demonstration of that running, guys, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy. And uh, yeah, do it properly in the dark now, so yeah. Right, so I just dim the lights. Oh yeah, big must guys when you're running Tesla coils is uh, ear protection on. Just to uh, protect your ears, it's quite loud. Right, so yeah, as you can see, that's the Tesla coil running, ready to go over there. Uh, we've got the cable coming along the floor, treadle switch there, we're operating it by foot. And we got a power meter and the variac over there we'll be running it from. Okay, so that's basically it. So a treadle switch is handy. We can switch it off really quickly if needed. And you also see over here is a mirror. So it allows me to see the back of the uh, the secondary just in case anything was to happen over the back and you don't see it. The, uh, the mirror allows it. Okay, right, so I'll switch off the last light. I've got a torch running over here so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, we'll get that running, get it on, on, and then we'll ramp it up, guys. So, three, two, one. Okay, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that, and uh, that was the small Tesla coil running, and yeah, that's running from a, uh, a 37 milliamp 10 kV neon sign transformer down there. We got a static spark gap at the bottom here behind this bit of welding mask uh, glass, and then we've got a 20 nanofarad uh, 24 kV, I think there's 24 1000 kV capacitors in there, so that equates it can it can take a total of 24 kV spikes into it. But it's running at 10 kV, and then uh, peak to peak is 14.1 uh, kV, I believe it is. And yet the uh, the secondary coil is 1,111 turns, and the primary coil is 10 turns. I'm on just about the um, the last quarter turn of the 10th. That seems to be the uh, the sweet spot there. And what else is there to do? There is also a 35 mil diameter toroid with an about 80 to 100 mil uh, ring diameter on the top there, and yeah, there's a line filter around the back also, guys. That's quite helpful for uh, getting rid of all those nasty RFs, you know, well, most of them anyway. And of course, I'm running a separate RF earth to the RF earth, which is over on the wall there, which actually goes out to a um, 
an actual air spike which is specifically for the RF so it just takes it away from the house or the garage so yeah that does that and uh, I think that's all of it guys, that's all the specs and everything yeah it puts out about from the, the ball to the top load it'll do about 550mm which is 55 centimeters, which is about 22 inches I think that is maximum spark gap jump on the top out of a 400 watt input which isn't too bad so yeah yeah so that's all all good guys so I hope you all enjoyed and uh, we'll see you all again next time for some more well we'll see what there is next time <laughs> I think there's Variax coming up and stuff like that so that should be fun yeah lin linear Variax ooh nice so yeah I'll uh, let you guys off for to now uh, to now for now and I'll see you all again next time Cheers guys, bye!